thanks to EA constantly messing with its launcher, Steam Deck users are constantly having their games stop working via Steam. The solution is to purge your Proton files, which also takes your save games with it. If you're constantly backing up your saves, or even other things like non-Steam shaders, you know it can be a tedious process. In this video, we adopt a technique to make backing up your commonly disabled game saves a little bit easier. Thanks a bunch, Electronic Arts. Stick around. Okay, we're gonna choose a spot for our backups. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my SD card. If you change SD cards a lot, this probably isn't a good spot for it. We're gonna create a folder called Backups. And inside of Backups, we're gonna create two more folders. One is gonna be the folder holding the symbolic links to your actual game saves scattered around your system. And the other, we're going to create Game Save Backups. That's where we're gonna put the actual files. Pretty simple. We're gonna go into our game save locations first and we're gonna go and find a game save. We're gonna start off with Mass Effect Legendary Edition and we're gonna use our buddies over at PC Gaming Wiki and we're gonna look the game up and we're gonna find out where it keeps the save games at. And you've probably done this before in one of my other tutorial videos. It shouldn't be too scary for you. But here in the video, we're gonna see exactly where the game save is. It's in User Profile, Documents, Bioware, Mass Effect Legendary Edition Save. That should be pretty easy to find. So I'm using short ticks here, and if you're not using short ticks already, I highly recommend it. You'll have to get the uh, game ID, the Steam game ID, but short ticks does it pretty easily. Uh, you can also, of course, use Proton Tricks, right, uh, to go in and find out that Mass Effect Legendary, this is the Steam ID of it. But if you're using short ticks, uh, it's a lot easier than trying to go and decide where this name is, right? Short ticks is a lot easier. Short ticks will find the game for you, and you can drill right in. We're gonna go into the C drive. We're gonna go to Users and Steam Users, which is where the user profile stuff is. Go to Documents, Bioware, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. And there's the save file, along with some, some profile data. We're gonna get both of those. We're gonna grab this folder, left drag it, and select Link Here. Now we have a quick shortcut that will get us to this big, long file path. Now we're gonna repeat this for Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront 2. And since I don't remember where it is, <laughs> we'll go ahead and look it up. So I'll go ahead and type in Battlefront 2, or Star Wars Battlefront 2. We'll get the save game location. Save game location, user profile, documents, Star Wars Battlefront 2 settings. Documents, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and settings. Okay, well, I think I need all of this stuff in that folder. Plus it's already named something pretty easy. I'll left drag it, create a link here. Now I have another symbolic link. Now we have one more to do, which, Shortix didn't get for us, so it's a really good thing that Fallen Order will give us an opportunity to go and find this compat data folder ourselves. So if we go down here, here's where it says the save game location is user profile save games respawn Jedi Fallen Order, but we the prefix number, it happens to be right here. It's 117 blah blah blah. It's not here in Shortix, so we're gonna have to go find it ourselves. 117, 2390. And 117, well it's 2380. We're gonna drill in. We're gonna go to our user profiles. And uh, where did it say it was again? Go back and refer. Saved games, respawn, Jedi Fallen Order. Okay, respawn, Jedi Fallen Order, and they're saving some user settings. Yeah, we'll grab all of that. Left drag and create a link here. Boom, excellent. Now we have a quick shortcut that we can easily get to at any given time without having to go digging. Inside of Game Save Backups, we're gonna create a folder for each one of these. This, these are symbolic links on the right. Those just take us to another location on the file system. In order for us to actually copy the contents, we need some place to copy them to, which is gonna be Game Save Backups. And I'm creating, I'm specifically changing the names a little bit, so I have some, avoid some confusion here. And one by one, we're gonna copy the contents. Battlefront 2, Copy, left drag, make sure you hit copy, not move. Great, then back up a folder and wash, rinse, and repeat. Jedi Fall in Order, Jedi Fall in Order, select them all, copy them over, boom. And the last one. Mass Effect, grab it, copy it, boom. Now you have backups. Now you could go ahead and 
destroy that proton prefix, right, in order to get the EA launcher to work. And you can always copy these back just by going into one of the folders in the save locations and copying the contents of your game save backups over top, right easy peasy, right into the same folder. Very, very cool. Now there's another usage we could do for this. Um, it doesn't just have to be game backups, right? We could put other stuff in here. So one of the things that I definitely want to make sure that I'm backing up is my Overwatch 2 shaders because it's really easy for me to lose my shaders and uh, that makes me mental. So I'm gonna go to my shader caches. Oh, I don't know which one's Overwatch, but Shortix does. So go to shaders and then Overwatch 2, and there are my shader caches right there. I'm gonna go ahead, and so there's the number, the three, four, five, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm gonna have to look this one up here. So we're gonna go back to shader caches and we're gonna find that folder. There it is. So, and there it is. I'm gonna drag that whole folder over I'm gonna link it, but then I'm gonna rename it. That doesn't make any sense the way it's named right now. Let's just call it Overwatch uh, Shader Cache. Boom, now I have a location where I can quickly get to my shader caches for Overwatch 2, so I can periodically back it up. Inside of my game save backups, I'm also gonna create a folder called, easy enough, Overwatch 2 shader, Shaders. I'm gonna open that folder, and I'm gonna copy the contents of my shaders over here. Now, if for some reason I lose my Battle.net, I have to reinstall Battle.net, I have to do whatever, now I know that I can always uh, get these shaders back, that I have a save for those as well. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armandro. Thanks so much for watching and take care. We'll see you next time.